Well, the DNA Bank was conceptualized back in the early 1990s to take biological samples, blood samples, DNA samples, and marry that to clinical information which is archived in the database. And that idea was funded by what was then the Deseret Foundation, is now the Intermountain Research and Medical Foundation. Over the years, we've collected over 22,000 samples. We have almost 20 years of follow-up on all those individuals. As a result of this archive that we have, we joined an international consortium of multiple centers who combine their samples and their clinical phenotypes to identify what are now the 23 known genes that actually enhance individuals' risk for the development of coronary heart disease. I don't know of anyone else in the world who has samples of that kind.